Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and we are continuing our series today on the 2022 external exams in Queensland, Australia by looking at our paper two, which was our complex, familiar and unfamiliar questions. Question one on this paper was a time series question. Now, if you're not in Australia or Queensland, don't panic. This could also be helpful to you as time series is a generic sort of mathematics that we do across the world. Let's get right into it. Question one was worth four marks. The table shows us swimwear's companies seasonally adjusted swimsuit sales in thousands. So number of thousands of actual swimsuits that were sold. The long-term seasonal indices for spring, summer and winter are 1.11, 1.42 and 0.62 respectively. Determine the actual swimsuits for autumn. So firstly, you need to have a bit of an understanding of what seasonally adjusted means. It actually means de-seasonalized. Now first of all we need to find autumn's index to be able to work backwards and find the actual results. So our indices must add to four because there's four quarters. So if we add those four numbers up and work out the difference we'll be able to work out what the autumn index was. So 1.11 plus 1.42 plus 0.62 and I've said a as a variable for autumn is going to equal to four. So that's our first step, was actually substituting that into and not recognizing that it's worth four. So 3.15 plus A equals four, therefore A is equal to 0.85. That's our, adjust, um, our seasonal index for autumn. And that was our second mark out of four marks for the question. So this is an important thing to remember. It's not on a formula sheet anywhere. You just need to remember that your seasonal indices for four quarters of a year, four seasons in a year, will always add to four. Okay, now remember that seasonally adjusted means they've already been de-seasonalized. We need to basically put the seasonality back in and work backwards to the actual sales. Um, so here's our seasonally adjusted information there. That's just a different way of saying de-seasonalized. Be aware that the language could change for different particular situations. Now, with the way we did it originally was to take our actual sales and divide by the index 0.85. That was how we got there originally. So to go backwards, instead of dividing, we're going to multiply. So that was our original formula here, actual sales divided by the index equals the de-seasonalized sales. So to go backwards to get actual sales, we're going to have to multiply. So writing some sort of a formula for ourselves, these aren't on the formula sheet, so you just need to know these intuitively coming up with some sort of method where they, you're clearly multiplying, you're showing you're working, that's worth your third mark for the question. So now taking the 36.4 for autumn, which is up here, multiplying that by 0.85, you're going to get 30.94. Now remember, these are swimsuit sales in thousands. Okay, so you can't just write 30.94. It doesn't even make sense. How do you sell, have actual sales of almost 31 swimsuits? Was one of the bikinis cut up into parts? No, you've actually got to multiply that by a thousand to get the actual sales. So we're now going to multiply that there by a thousand and we get 30,940 swimsuits and that's our fourth mark and recognizing the thousands was an important step. Well, that was all the questions on the paper for time series. One complex question in the second part of the paper. Did you find the video helpful? And if so, here's how you can let us know. You can engage further with us on the channel by liking, subscribing and hit that notifications bell so you'll always know when the next video is available. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram and you could also tell someone, tell us in the comments how you found the video. Also share it with a friend, a teacher or a sibling. And if you've got any questions about the video, how to do certain things, contact us at mcclutchymass at yahoo.com. That's our email address right there. We're always happy to hear from you and to um, engage with you further. Well, have a wonderful day. I'm Natalie McClutchy. You've been watching McClutchy Maths.